This video has been produced by Dranis Technologies, the leader in power quality measurement and test and measurement instrumentation. In this video, the SecuTest S3 Plus is being presented by Dieter Fulner, product manager for Gosen Metrowatt. Gosen Metrowatt is the leader in safety testing instrumentation. Okay, so in this measurement we do touch current and patient leakage current. We measure the current from each accessible part to ground. For doing this on a fixed install devices, at least we measure the current flowing from this probe to the ground of the system. The ground of the system is connected by a special adapter. The adapter has power supply for the instrument and ground to the system ground. Okay, so we just connect uh, the power supply and the probe, start the touch current measurement. Device is fixed installed. Switch on mains. Mains is already switched on. So we wait for booting, but it's already booted, so we can start. And we see touch current is zero or near zero because the probe is not connected. Now I go through all the points which are in the instruction manual of the instrument. And it always starts with RMS value, but I would like to see AC and DC. So I have to push the button, show me AC and DC, and I see both values, AC and DC, the current. Patient leakage current or touch current is, for example, this one. I touch the, uh, the metal, uh, accessible part, and I can see AC is 1.5 microamps and DC is 0.8 microamps, what is very low below the limit. And that is something. Okay. The SecuTest S3 Plus is made in Germany and distributed as well as supported in the United States by Dranitz. If you would like more information on any of the SecuTest products, please call us at 1-800-372-6832 or email us at sales at dranitz.com. This video has been produced by Dranitz Technologies, the leader in power quality measurement and test and measurement instrumentation. In this video, the SecuTest S3 Plus is being presented by Dieter Fulner, product manager for Gosen Metrowatt. Gosen Metrowatt is the leader in safety testing instrumentation. For this patient leakage and dust uh, touch current leakage measurement, we would like to use a very special cable to get very accurate measurement. This cable has a, uh, a black cable and a green and yellow one. So the protective earth connector is separate to connect on the reference point of the system. This time we do some uh, touch current measurement on the mobile X-ray equipment. This mobile X-ray equipment has a, a normal plug. This plug is connected to the tester in the test socket of the tester. Then we have to start the measurement. It's a leakage current and here is a touch current. The tester is looking if there is uh, some, some equipment is connected. It makes some tests before starting. Switch on the power of the equipment. And then you will see the RMS value of the touch current. To look at AC and DC, just push the, push the button down. And you see the AC and DC value of the equipment. It's zero because I didn't connect the probe. To measure the touch current, we have to connect the probe on the housing of the equipment. This kind of equipment, for example, a good place is down here. It's the housing, it's very well connected. And you can see the touch current is near zero because all of the equipment is very good grounded. But we would like to look at the single fault condition. What happens if the ground here in the wire is broken? That can be a danger for the patient. For that reason, we look on a single fault condition. PE is interrupted. With this tester, it's very easy. You just have to push the button, single fault condition, and then you see the leakage current with PE interrupted. This example is 63 microns. 
uh, for these mobile X-rays, it's possible that life in neutral is changed. For that reason, you have to repeat the measurement with polarity of main uh, change. You must not disconnect and connect again. The tester has the possibility to change the polarity by itself. Just push the button where the green light is. Equipment is switched off. Switch on again. And polarity is changed to neutral life. In this case, the current is quite the same, 60 micrograms, and it's still safe because it's very low, very below the allowable values. The Secutest S3 Plus is made in Germany and distributed as well as supported in the United States by Dranitz. If you would like more information on any of the Secutest products, please call us at 1-800-372-6832 or email us at sales at dranitz.com. This video has been produced by Dranitz Technologies, the leader in power quality measurement and test and measurement instrumentation. In this video, the Secutest S3 Plus is being presented by Dieter Fohner, Product Manager for Golson Mechawatt. Golson Mechawatt is the leader in safety testing instrumentation. Next, next test we will do is a uh, leakage current test. We do it in a similar way like the insulation resistance test. We connect the probe, one probe to the ground of the building, the other probe to the Philips equipment. We start the equipment, we power it on, and then we make, measure the leakage current between these two lines. So everything is connected. I will uh, power, I will start a measurement, push the button on touch current. The tester asks me to switch on the equipment, it's already switched on. And the next, next step you will see the leakage current is very low. We see only 10 or 15 microamps. We can change to AC and DC and we see the most of the leakage current is DC leakage current but very low below the allowable values. The Secutest S3 Plus is made in Germany and distributed as well as supported in the United States by Dranitz. If you would like more information on any of the Secutest products, please call us at 1-800-372-6832 or email us at sales at dranitz.com.